the coalition of civil society organizations in Osho State have moved against what they described as dangerous and socially actions of Minister of Interior Obeni Raifu Aregbesola. Addressing pressmen in Abuja, the spokesman of the group, Dr. Wasiu Oyedokun Ali of Transparency and Accountability Group, alleged that heads of Minister of Interior Raifu Aregbesola in collusion with unidentified ham talks terrify innocent citizens in Oshobo and other town of the state on Monday, 14th February 2022. The group thereby demanded its outright sack or redeployment. Also demanded withdrawal of other security men attached to him, which are civil defense, correctional services, and others, excluding only police officers. Today, Monday, at about 5.40 p.m., the Minister of Interior, Mr. Ralph Aregosola, was moving a convoy of personnel of NSCDC, Correctional Service, Immigration, as well as some unidentified armed people suspected to be to political thugs along Orisumbare, MRS, MFS Road in Osogo. Suddenly, the quarter continues. Some of the security escorts of the minister started shooting sporadically into the air without any provocation nor attack, thereby causing members of the public to scramble for their safety. 13 empty shells of G3 assault and AK-37 rifle were recovered along the road after the minister's departure. No casualty affair was recorded. From all intents and purposes, the, choosing, the shooting was aimed at instilling fear in the minds of perceived political opponents and showing to the public that Mr. Rekushala possessed the capacity to set the state on fire, if tempted to so do. While it remains illegal to use officers of security agencies who should be protecting the public to terrorize some members of the public, it is criminal for a public officer to be the one behind such acts of insurrection and criminality. Men of the Nigerian police force are primarily and statutorily responsible for the maintenance of law and order, while also being directly responsible for prosecution of persons found guilty of crime. The Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps also saddled with the responsibilities that closely agree with the mandate of the Nigerian police force, is required to work in tandem with the police in ensuring a safe society for all. It is to be stated that the number of jailbreaks in the reference period is unprecedented in the over 60 years of existence of this country. This speaks about the administrative incompetence of Mr. Arrego Shola, whose superintendence over the Ministry of the Interior has seen it degenerate into one that cannot secure its own correctional service centers. Where Mr. Arrego has to be seen finding solutions to this uh, now common jailbreak, he has been busy promoting unrest in Osho State. At every government function, it was characteristic of Mr. Arrego Shola to reference the presence of these hooligans whom he gave the job of silencing the opposition and helping him perpetrate the political theft draw that he was seeking to build. These auctions have today metamorphosed into land grabbers, thieves, murderers, and political thugs who are making life unbearable for citizens of the state. This man, such a man as Mr. Rebola, should neither be anywhere in the administrative office of a security agency, nor should be given the chance to politically head one. Where the federal government is unable to act swiftly to caution Mr. Arrego Shola, the Senate of the Federal Republic must show capacity by sanctioning his sack and impress it on Mr. President to effect some sanctioning to effect him. Failure to do this will obviously bring this disrespect to the exalted office of the Honorable Minister. Three, that for now, if all security agents are tied to him, except men of Nigerian police are not withdrawn, 
he will turn them to agents of criminality used to undermine not just the Nigerian police force, but also the national security efforts, especially in Osu State. In conclusion, we make this position in good faith, being good spirited civil society stakeholders who desire the best for Osu and expect quick action to foster crisis in Osu State. We must be much more uh, realistic in our approach to issues in Nigeria. I do not know if, as you will agree with me, reporting Arabo Salam misdeeds or his, the officers personnel under him to the agencies will have an effect. Now, we have reported to those who are responsible to superintend the offices and authority, and I think that is best enough. Because if we report to the Director uh, General uh, of uh, NIS or whatever, do you expect to issue a query to his minister? Because these acts were done in public domain that while he was moving in a convoy, those guys were shooting sporadically. And we're wondering why should this happen in Nigeria of the 21st century? Exactly. We are there as well at war. We are, we, are not, we are not even having a political uh, uh, campaign yet in Osu. The primaries are yet to take place. So what will warrant the convoy? It, it, it beats one hollow to think that somebody should know. Somebody who has been in public domain for more than 16 years as two-time uh, commissioner for works in Lagos State, two-time governor of Osu State, so this sent so low into this kind of whatever. If you don't talk, it means an insult to our collective uh, uh, whatever. So please, we will entreat the press also to assist us in making that this is widely publicized to the uh, uh, public and to the government. We have to pass through a gentle, you know, I mean, a peaceful community and be shooting to in the air. People who are scampering for safety. This is uncalled for. Nigeria is not a banana republic. If you keep quiet, something more terrible will happen.